One lap down and two to go for Sun City 400 leaders Janelle de Villiers and Francois Jordan. Neil Woolridge and Ken Schalthammer were two minutes and 15 seconds behind in the Team Ford Racing Ranger. Both the Ford and the Nissan had the fuel range to complete an entire race without having to refuel. Special vehicle category leaders Atang Mahereneni and Bucks Carolyn in the total Jimco had a 53 second lead over Henry Castain and Renee Euster, who opted to visit the pits to refuel the Atlas Copco batch. <laughs> The windscreen wipers on the Foss Nissan weren't working, which made visibility a problem. The oven fresh biscuit sporter was still plagued by clutch problems. Long grass caused overheating on many of the vehicles. We had a good run this morning, we were yeah, on the BB Auto car, Class D car and got past Alfie and um, in the dust it had a front puncture and then um, one of the people that was first on the road this morning um, let, us, um, let the car in front of us through and then hit, hit us at BK Street, so two punctures, but we'll be back. The problem is had developed power steering problems and thick dust forced the crew to wear dust masks throughout the race. Lots of dust, but uh, we're going well. We've passed a lot of cars. Uh, we've lost a couple of minutes now just checking something, but uh, we'll keep it running. We'll keep moving forward. Frantic repairs were underway in the Funder Vault pit. <laughs> oh, we actually broke the side shaft and we unlucky about it or how can we say um we was first in class so yeah some of those things so we just have to repair it there's no way we can go on that thing's going to jam and so forth so we'll see class f leaders andre boerter and beans haydenrich rolled the Copenhagen hotel super team chevy during the prologue route in my opinion is tough uh very tight battle to get the big car around the corners but uh yeah we, we're holding it there and we keep going and the people are cheering us on and, Lap two, and there was no stopping De Villiers and Jordan in the proudly South African Nissan hardbody, which, like the Ford Ranger of Woolridge and Schultzhammer, had not missed a beat all day. Any unforeseen problems, Atang Mahekhaneni and Bucks Carolyn had the special vehicle category sewn up and were two minutes ahead of second place Nick Harper and Andrew Chalupski in the batch, which was handling far better after extensive development. Alfie Cox and Ralph Pitchford were third overall in the production vehicle category and the Class D leaders in the Arnold Chats Cars Nissan Hardbody, with Kostain and Euster now down to third overall in the special vehicle category after sportingly towing Marsh and Whitehouse out of the mud. Hein Krobler and Gerard Prinsloo were second in Class D in the GBS Racing Nissan and 90 seconds behind leaders Cox and Pitchford, while Variawa and Dudhir had moved up to fourth overall in the special vehicle category despite ongoing clutch problems on the Porter. Mark Corbett and Jean Moore in the Century Property Developments bat were fifth in Class A but soon to retire with a broken CV. Much to the delight of the large contingent of Ford fans, Team Ford Racing's Manfred Schroeder and Jack Peckham were third in Class D, but running without third gear. Mark Cronier and Chris Birkin were having a torrid time in the Castrol Toyota Hilux, which had stripped third and fourth gear and also had a broken exhaust manifold. 
Marsh and Whitehouse set a fast pace in the Nashua Mobile Jimco, but would later retire when the wiring loom short-circuited and caught fire. Crobler and Leek continued their charge, but battled with an ill-handling Nissan. The rear anti-roll bar broke and the ongoing power steering problems made the going rather difficult for the production vehicle championship leaders. Gavin Cronier and Robin Houghton disconnected the front prop shaft when they suspected the front diff had broken, but later discovered that second gear had in fact failed. Foss and Estecha twice got stuck after the starter on the Nissan failed and were sportingly towed out on both occasions by Manfred Schroeder. Taylor and Deschelaine were the new Class B leaders in setting a blistering pace in the JRE. To stay out of the clutches of Gil Nell in the look ATE Truggy, Nell was in an unusually aggressive mood and pushing the Truggy to the limit. The Besaid Notes run came to an end when the tie rod arm on the Class B Adenko Sandmaster broke. Neil de Villiers and Francois Jordan had a clean run on lap two and had increased their lead over Neil Warridge and Ken Schulthammer to just over four minutes. The team Ford Racing crew had also had a trouble free run and were just over 15 minutes ahead of Hannes Krobler and Richard Leek who were third overall on corrected time. Total gym co-pair Atang Mahekhaneni and Bucks Carolyn had not put a wheel wrong all day and had opened up a six and a half minute lead over Bat Racing's Nick Harper and Andrew Chalupski. Harper runs Bat Racing in South Africa following Brandon Harkis's decision to relocate to the United States. Just look at the amazing suspension travel on Shamir Variawa's Porter. and Pitchford had a third successive Class D win in their sights, while Clarksdorf-based Hein Krobler and Gerard Prinzloo in the GBS Racing Nissan appear to be heading for their first finish of the season. Krobler is of the opinion that the number one plate is jinxed, because on each of the two occasions that he has won the Class D championship, he has had a dismal follow-up season. Hannes Krobler and Richard Leek were third overall on corrected time, but had little hope of making up more than 15 minutes on the leaders on the last lap of the Sun City 400. Former Class E champions Schroeder and Peckham were third in Class D, but they would soon be forced to retire with gearbox problems on the Team Ford Racing Ranger. Marcus Taylor and Mark Deschelaine had an 11-minute lead over Gil Nell in Class B at the end of lap two. Lichtenberg 200 winners, Hein Moorman and Cecil Fincham in the 4x4 Mega World Toyota Hilux were the new Class E leaders and only 85 seconds ahead of Hugo and Jaap de Brain in the Class E championship leading Castrol Toyota Hilux which was struggling along in two-wheel drive. Castrol Toyota's Zane Pierce and Henny Forslu were third in Class E, but retired when the diff broke 70 kilometers from the finish. The final lap in Mahekhaneni and Carolyn, whose total Jimco does not have the fuel capacity to complete an entire race, were forced to refuel. Water in the tank, control. 